Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about nuclear power plant. Let's take a moment to observe the things in our surroundings right now. We might be frustrated or happy about the things that happened, but do you know how lucky we are? To live in this time or this era, where everything is so bright at night. Everything is so easy and advanced. We got smartphones, computers, and most importantly, we got electricity. Long ago, we didn't even have artificial light. Our ancestors just used candles or torches, and there was no internet. Today, we got our electrical energy and other energy sources from hydroelectric plants which means they use the flow of water to turn on the generator which generates electricity. Others use solar panels. Others use coal to generate heat energy and other source of energy. And in the really big scale need of energy, other countries utilize the use of nuclear power plants. Nuclear, it sounds like from a sci-fi movie. But do we really know what it is? Let's find out what fuel it uses. Well, basically, a nuclear power plant produces electricity using heat from nuclear reactions. In nuclear physics, a nuclear reaction is a process in which two nuclear particles collide and this produces a lot of energy in the form of heat. The heat is used to make steam which operates the steam turbine and turns on the generator to make electricity. These reactions take place within a reactor so it's going to be really really hot and since it's very hot in there they have machines which remove heat from the reactor nuclear power plants are also usually near water to remove the heat from the reactor and some nuclear power plants used cooling towers to do this since it's generating a lot of energy does it come for free or do we use some form of fuel to turn it on well time to get nerdy here nuclear power plants use uranium as fuel that's an element in the periodic table right when the reactor is on uranium atoms inside the reactor split into two smaller atoms or nuclear fission we thought atoms are the smallest things and they couldn't be split, right? Well, it seems that some special elements can be split or divided like uranium and plutonium. And when uranium atoms split, they give off a large amount of heat. The atoms produced when fuel atoms break apart are strongly radioactive. So, it only happens in nuclear reactors where it is safe inside. So how much energy or power does this nuclear power plant produce? Well, in the United States, one reactor has a net summer electricity generating capacity of 582 megawatts. As a general rule of thumb, each megawatt of a power station's capacity can supply around 650 average homes. So you do the math. But today, the use of nuclear power plants is reduced because people are quite afraid of it due to some happenings in history, wherein accidents at nuclear power plants happened like the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, 
1986 Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine, and the 1979 Three Mile Island accident in the United States. So learners, that is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.